Blessings, Gemini. Welcome to your May reading with me, Nikila Asha of Ashworth Scott Life Sculpting. I'm so excited to deliver your May general reading. Keep in mind it is timeless, so no matter when you stumble across it, it will resonate if it is for you, okay? So let's go ahead and see what Spirit has, ooh, has in store for you, Gemini. And there we go. Okay. Transformation. Archangel Zadikiel. It says, thank you, Zad Zadkiel, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform my past challenges. Ooh, when we talk about that purpose from the pain, mm -hmm. it can transform if you allow it. We also have inner power, the divine father. Divine father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. And then we have unconditional love, the divine mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. So I love how we have the Divine Father and the Divine Mother. And then count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for blessings, for the blessings in my life. Okay, so listen, 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 Linda, listen. So it is time for you. Gemini, to stop sitting around looking at the things that you would identify as mishaps in your life or mistakes or traumas, right? To stop looking at them as things that tore you down or are tearing you down. It's time for you to find the beauty in these things. And I know this sounds crazy to some, right? To some, you feel me. But to some, it may sound crazy, the beauty in my pain. But whenever you get past that pain and you heal that pain, it always grows you and makes you stronger than you were before, right? Now, with the divine father and the divine mother coming in, you are being called to create a balance between living in your power and living in your love. You are being called to create a balance between your masculine energy and your feminine energy. Sometimes you can show up in more, like more in your masculine, right? Because you feel you have to be hard to protect yourself. You feel like you have to be hard to be just as good as the next person or in order to get that promotion or to be taken seriously, right? And then some of you are showing up in that more feminine position because you feel like I'm too powerful. So it's time for me to dim my light so that I can be accepted so that I'm not intimidating so that others don't feel away in my presence, right? Whichever side of the spectrum that you're in or on, it's time for you to remember to just be yourself. But in order to do that, it cre it, it requires you to create that, that knowing of who you are, right? It requires you to create that inner peace, right? And the way that you can find this inner peace, one of the ways you can create this balance and one of the ways that you can allow your pain to produce the purpose of it all is by counting your blessings, being grateful, really giving yourself an opportunity to get to know who you are as a person, right? Now, here's the thing. One of the main things you're being called to be grateful for is you, right? Is you. And, and also, here, here's the thing, Gemini, you know, you got the twin thing going on, right? And, and as I'm saying about getting to know what you find grateful, what you're grateful about you, it's also coming in, in regards to like that twin thing going on, how sometimes that twin shows up as the masculine, sometimes that twin shows up as the feminine, but it, it's like this beautiful blending of both, right? That really suits you, a beautiful blending of both. So it's really about you finding your way, right? Finding your way and, and about you allowing those things that don't serve you and those things that are not who you are to fall away. Don't be afraid to show up as you truly are on a soul level, right? I know some of you are dealing with that. Just that fear of how others are going to take you when you allow yourself to live your life in a way that resonates. Because I understand the way you're living, it used to resonate for many of you, but it doesn't anymore. And it is okay for you to allow yourself to transform. It's okay for you to allow yourself to elevate. It's okay for you to allow yourself to change, right? It's just about you giving yourself permission and living in that place of fearlessness, right? And courage. And even if you're feeling afraid to push through it, you know, fear is never an indication to stop. Fear is actually an indication that this is something that you are being called to tackle head on. This is something that you're being called to walk your way through, right? Call on that divine spirit team of yours. And if you are looking for some assistance, I got you. Y'all know I'm a psychic life coach and mentor. So if you're interested in working with me, click the link in the description box, okay? And go ahead and schedule your consultation. Even if you like a personal reading, click that link. And if you like energy healing with Jillian, 
click the link, right? Attending a retreat, click the link. We got you. But anyways, I'm excited for you because Gemini, this year has more beautiful things to come for you if you allow it, right? Set your sights on all the beautiful things that are in store for you. Claim them as if they are already yours because they are in a parallel universe. It's just time for you to allow it into this reality, okay? I thank you for allowing me to serve you. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.